Okay, here we are again with Vermeil in Gold. Yeah, I, I checked how to how to pronounce it. It's not Vermeil in Gold, it's Vermeil in Gold, apparently. Um, but yeah, we are at episode 3, and last episode we got introduced to three new characters, basically. Which are Rex, which is like... Which has like a big T-Rex as summon, which makes sense for the name, I guess. Um, and we beat him. And then uh, Marcus who has a beetle as a summon and is completely useless and bad apparently. He's like the worst in any subject. And um, also Sherold, I think is her name. Sherold, Sherolis, Sherold, um, which is, which seems like is his mate of Marcus or something like that. It seemed kind of weird, the connection between those two. Um, but yeah, um, our boy Alto, uh, Lilia, and Charoles, Charoles, uh had a test, a small test, to check which of those three is the best. Because they, those three are like the best in their classes or whatever, or in like their, uh, in like their term, or whatever you want to call it, um, of the year. And they wanted to check who is the best to decide who becomes the student representative, I think. And yeah, our boy Alto lost and gave the win basically to Lilia. But then Lilia came back to Alto and said, yeah, without you, without you, I couldn't have done it. And wanted him to give him the flower they had to find to prove that they won. And then she lost it because her invisibility potion wore, uh, wore off and she was naked and she was embarrassed and the flower flew away. And yeah, Marcus got it, I think. And he's like, nah, Sherolds can have it because she's cool. And so, yeah, that was basically basically last episode. It was kind of funny. <laughs> Especially the scene with the in invisibility potion. Um, and the scenes between Vermey and Alto. And, oh yeah, we found out what, she, what his goal is. He wants to become, like, the best of the best, kind of like, mage. So, yeah, high goal. But, I mean, that's basically our shonen anime protagonist goal right he wants to become the best but yeah um that's it i would say let's go into the episode but yeah if you like what you see leave a like subscribe or comment i would really appreciate it and it would really help me but yeah let's get to the episode oh yum 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 it's a crap with ice and strawberries i mean she was sealed she was sealed away for like i don't know how long so, so she never had it. See, they didn't add it. Oh, dragons again. Chris. Oh yeah, we saw in the intro too. She has like this military look. Chocolate banana crap. Splendid. And she's always sparkling. Do it. Does he have some leftover on his cheek and she's... Nope. I thought maybe he has some leftover on his cheek and she's like picking it up. And... Okay, so she's like pretty much at the top of everything. Makes sense. There's always one that is like blessed with everything. But Alto wants to get above gold. He wants to become platinum. Seven gold squares at the at the academy. What the hell? Reminds me of uh, Shokugeki no Soma. Booba! Hell yeah! <laughs> oh my god! Business as usual. Well, it's always. Oh my hello! Some random human. If she knew. God damn, why is she so blue? God damn, dude! Not even a gold square could do that. Oh yeah, she is with him! Oh my god! <laughs> my god! Of course, I was wondering, like, is she... Where is she? How oh, jealous! <laughs> 
Even I would want to peek at that. <laughs> <laughs> she talks too much without thinking. Less vicious. Oh. Oh, there's Chris. And there are... Why does this guy has a dog bonus? A necklace choker thing? Is this like his fetish? Does he want to be treated treated as a dog? Oh. Oh my god, those eyes! Is she coming in? I... Yes, she is! <laughs> and he's like, wait, what? <laughs> god damn! God damn! Oh. Oh my god! You're quite built. Oh my god! Oh my god! Of course they do enjoy it, dude. That's what he wants. Bonding. You have to bond to get stronger. And she has a crazy look right now. Oh, <laughs> god damn it, bro. I'm so jealous. Oh my god. Oh. Is this Rex? Or someone else? Chris? She just shoots him with a finger pistol? And she beat you with a human? I didn't thought that she would be such a bitch. Indeed. Ow. I guess it makes sense with a military style. Damn. I mean, you can try to fight against Vermeer and get fucked. Yeah, I thought as much. What the hell? Oh, ho, ho, ho. Oh my god. Dude, I didn't expect this. Like, literally. What the? I didn't, dude, I didn't expect this kind of thing in this anime. I thought it would be just all fun. And games. Hmm, what did he say? Oh, is he... Wait, what? Is he going after her? There we go, yep, challenge. Oh yeah, he challenged her. Thought as much. <laughs> How did he know that it was her that did it? Because Rex just said that someone beat him up. He didn't say who. And is it, may, well, maybe it's known that Chris is like this, that she beats people up. But I would imagine that normally you would expect that those at the top in the student council and all that shit, that those would be technically good guys, maybe? Because Alto has like a very, holds them in very high regards, right? So I would maybe think that he would think that they are good guys. But I mean, now it's clear that they are not. We will see. Let's go. I hope he beats her up. You will see about that. What was this golden medal? <laughs> oh, here we go. This lucky bastard. And everyone is looking. Ah, <laughs> uh, but I think she's not face. I think he will lose because he's just not ready yet. Which is kind of confusing because earlier they said that Cerberus, not even the gold squares, could defeat them easily. Mm. Pew 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 pew! I mean, she's maybe also not completely up with all her power, right? She's probably still weakened from the seal, maybe? 
It's a golden mana. Or is a woman? Yeah, I guess it's a woman. Vime. That she can tank everything. Good damn! Oh, yes, she will. Because, I mean, she still didn't use her summon, right? Come on, dude. That's not... That wasn't you. She just comes up flying now. With the dragon. I have to say, I'm not impressed with this fight, really. Because it's just, yeah, ice crystal shit and... Finger pew pew gun, and that's all they spam the whole time, and that's it. Because I'm better. What a bitch. <laughs> so, do they have an ace up their sleeve or are they just losing now? Okay, let's go. Let's see some action, some good stuff. What a bitch, dude. But I mean, a dragon is not cool. A waifu is a familiar. That's cool. She just uses them as a tool. <clears throat> Which is a kind of dumb system. We don't talk, we just fight. And whoever wins is right. <laughs> we just kill her dragon easy. Yeah, Alto is very potent. I mean, you are spamming your shit too. A big one that pierces the heavens. And a dance. Oh my god, why? Okay, this was episode 3 of The May in Gold. And I have to say, let's start with the end. Um, I think the end, the fight, was kind of meh. I, I wasn't impressed by it. Because it basically just came down to Alto spamming his icicles the whole time. And then Chris being like, pew, 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 finger gun the whole time. And that's basically for like 8.5 minutes or so. Um... Yeah, not impressed by that because I mean, the previous fights we had in like in the last two episodes were both like easily done, like one attack and basic basically it's done. But I I guess it makes sense because Alto is very strong with his potent mana and uh, the May is very strong with because she's a demon. But now we have Chris who is a stronger opponent, so it makes sense that she is not that easily easily defeated. Um, but like having eight minutes of like the same moves over and over again feels a bit. Uh, I feel like they could have done more with the time. Like do something else, keep the short, keep the fight shorter, and maybe put some other stuff in before the fight. Um, before you end the episode with the cliffhanger or something or something, because all the fight came down to basically the same move spam, and then like asking why are you doing this? Why are why do you look down on everyone? And she's just like, yeah, because I having I'm having a dragon, and dragons are cool. Because I'm I can fly through the sky with a dragon. I'm better th better than everyone, and I can look down on everyone. So why shouldn't I do it? Oh, I'm special. I'm cool. I'm because of my familiar. Um, that's basically what the whole fight came down to. I feel like that's my opinion uh, about it. And then just a cliffhanger so yeah that was a bit meh um the rest of the episode i think was better i i mean i something that surprised me in this episode was definitely that chris is such a bitch 
and that she actually kicked the shit out of Rex and had boot, uh, blood on her boot and it's like, lick it. You sullied my boot and all this stuff. I didn't expect it something this dark in this anime because I thought like it was more like go happy, right? That's the vibes I had before. before. Like it's just that it's just like happy comedy vibes, slice of life things um, with some naughty demon stuff. Um, so I didn't expect this more dark side of it. Um, so that surprised me at least. And I mean, we also had like some good moments with Mei again, uh, where she was a bit naughty. Um, but besides that, not much happened. I mean, we got a glance now on the gold squares in the school, I guess. Chris and the other guys. And yeah, so far Chris is a bitch and maybe the other ones are also not that great. I would imagine that if people are like that powerful and are like at the top, that they might be and are in the student council and all that stuff, I would imagine that they might be more on the good side, I would say, and not so bad. Um, but I mean, on the, on, the, on the other hand, we have like Shokugeki no Soma, where we have a student council or whatever that is like very powerful and that has enough power to um, even get rid of the director or principal of the school. And they turned out to be somewhat evil because not all, but a few, and they come had like had like more votes than the good guys and so the bad guys in the, in the council basically could get rid of the director or principal so i mean we saw tropes like this i mean it's it happens quite often that like people that are very strong and good and that those are often also assholes so i guess it makes somewhat sense um but yeah i, I think if it was common knowledge that these um, gold squares would be so bad. I'm surprised that Alto is talking in such high regards about them that they are like so great because they're gold and all that stuff. If they are, if they if they turn out to be so bad, um, so yeah, that's something interesting. And what's also interesting is when it, let, again the fight at the end, they said that even the Cerberus, even a gold square, would have had problems defeating it, and we defeated it. So. But now we struggle against Chris, who is a gold square, who should have struggled against Cerberus. I mean, I guess we didn't use the overpowered attack the May used in the last episode, so maybe that's a thing. I don't know. But yeah, I guess, I mean, I, I, I preferred episode two and one so far. This episode isn't that great, but it, I, like I said, it has some interesting stuff that it has like, that the anime also has like some darker stuff to it. And yeah, I would say that's it for the episode. If you like what you saw and you want to support me, leave a like, subscribe or comment. I would really appreciate it and it would really help me. But yeah, till next time. Bye bye.